but um, so essentially, I suppose they have a collaboration between Norwegian Refugee Council and Field Ready um, in Cox's Bazaar, looking at recycled plastic waste. Um, Anna, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> Great, fantastic. Okay, so I started without you. Would you like to take over? I've just introduced the title, so you can take it from here, Amit. Okay. Okay, so thank you so much. Here it's good evening, actually. I think there is good afternoon. So this is Mr. Roy from Bangladesh, NRC Shelter and Wash Coordinator and working for like uh, nine months. So actually we are doing our innovation project with the Field Ready International, which is UK based. And uh, like uh, we you will uh, glad to know that we already received the award from the from uh, like one of the celebration. So this is NRC Challenges Innovation, uh, producting shelter materials as an alternative materials in order to shelter, which is plastic recycle project. Can you go to the next slide? Okay, so there are three main objectives actually in our project. Uh, first one is to determine proof of concept of producing economically viable and better performing shelter product. Secondly, develop product that increase the life of a shelter by producing and protecting and rectifying. Thirdly, offer an effective alternative materials in Rohingya shelter programming and livability from FDM. And also, you can use this one for the host communities for considering the long lasting or sustainability and also like uh, the economically, which is uh, very low uh, cost effective. Next slide, please. So this is one of the shelter that we made in our assigned camp that is camp 8 East where like you can see the raw materials. Uh, I mean uh, low quality materials we have used here and uh, like uh, this uh, for the same model uh, kind of things we, we produce uh, the shelter materials uh, that we will look later on. But this this is like one of the temporary shelter for the refuse we have built. Next slide. Okay, so like uh, with with the uh, product, like develop non-structural shelter item for Jupri in the host community to make them more liable and increase the lifespan of shelter. There are three main component actually design and explore new and past process in innovation of plastic recycle. This is internal and external. Secondly, experiment of different plastic blend and produce portfolio of shelter product and thirdly test the performance in durability against shelter product standard or uh, like for the uh, living condition in a sustainable and uh, like in a dignity manner kinds of things next slide so this is our plan actually phase one and phase two we already have uh, completed phase one and phase two so in our first phase, there was set up a, a manufacturing location equipment and staff. Secondly, partnership development, build key stakeholder relationship with the existing plastic recycle. And third one is design, experiment and testing. Fourth one is evidence, field test and guidance. So we have already done uh, except the first one due to some legal issue in Bangladesh and also environmental um, uh, department because there are some uh, implication and some restriction when we are going to it, it's a long long process to get the approval from the Bangladesh government as well as I are considering other kinds of consequences. So next slide. So we determine something look like that with our shelter product and uh, there we will find some floor and a wall including some roof material. So this, this is our determined product that we can uh, build and it will be shaped look like this. There are also some ventilation including door and window, also some garter as well as some interlocking blocks kind of things. Next one. Okay, these are the product that we produce and uh, developed already here like 
roof tiles, floor and wall tiles, interlocking plastic bricks. Next. Uh, in the left corner, there is also roof corner tiles that uh, we, we use in top of the roof and uh, uh, in right uh, side, there is the interlocking uh, plastic bricks and there, there we also did the field test with our uh, country director James Moon, including uh, the field ready personnel uh, for in the community to get the acceptance and their perception how it looks like. Next one. So this is our uh, second phase. Uh, oh, sorry, this is our achievement. Actually, uh, we explore the locally available facilities and work on filling the gap. Uh, a polystyrene machine and uh, uh, PP and HDP. Actually, we use two kinds of uh, plastic raw materials to uh, do uh, to produce this plus uh, pl uh, product and uh, plastic. Uh, a partnership development we establish a design and uh, prototyping lab and es center name es center supported by the relief international conducting capacity building workshop for the youth in the coxes bazar by the es center and a designing shelter uh, protection product uh, that we already shown developed the mold design and mold fabrication locally field test trial running and evidence uh, produce pilot plastic bend and produce and uh, development a body of evidence and implication guidelines that we achieved actually. Next one in first and second phase. So okay. here you can yeah. look one of the yeah videos. Yes how it is adjusting and producing So this is about the floor tiles. They are fitting on the floor. Can you explain what the video was about, Amit? Yeah. The music was very. Loud. <laughs> yes. So uh, this this is uh, this product we are going to exploring in further. Actually, we produce like the floor tiles, roof tiles, wall tile tiles, but uh, like pillar and uh, uh, po uh, like to toilet tab and fully floss insulation. Uh, this is our plan uh, that in future we we will do this kind of things. Actually, next one. So this uh, was the uh, this is the third phase uh, plan actually set up manufacturing location equipment and staff uh, and uh, piloting build business and advocacy knowledge uh, dissemination. So basically as we cannot uh, like establish our manufacture, but we are engaged with other local uh, partner who have the capacity and we establish a good relationship with them and we engage and we provide the technical uh, like uh, technical competency as well as technical support and we build this kind of things and we also encouraging the people of the local uh, producer they they are collecting the local raw materials and uh, like uh, this is one of the supply chain that we would like to like establish and engage with the uh, market. Why we produce to produce the shelter materials because uh, for producing the shelter item there are have huge uh, plastic is required, but for the other type of materials less less like quantity is required. So in the camp there are huge plastic as are consuming and also like they are uh, uh, let's say there is no, uh, I mean, in uh, mainstreaming in the plastic waste disposal, this kind of thing. So this is one of the good initiative that it will require more plastic that will consume and uh, 
we can establish the local uh, personnel they are collecting and we can buy from them so there will be the one kind of business and uh, employment opportunity then we will take with other like a uh, manufacturer company or uh, stakeholder uh, and we will provide support and we can take them back for our implementation so here in our third page actually we have the plan to uh, build 20 shelter uh, to get uh, the community real experience how it looks like even including some uh, technical uh, testing which is a technical test like toxicity and other kinds of things so yeah, either it is harmful for the human body or like environmental this kind of things and we'll do some uh, knowledge management as well as advocacy train to the carpent train to the mission and other kinds of things so this is our uh, third planned activities next one please we have two minutes. Yeah, um, OK. OK, so, so it'd be nice to have time for questions as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Phil yeah. Reddy Global focused on plastic recycle, actually scaling uh, open innovation and open knowledge to other countries and operation. Next one. OK, so brightening the uh, generation with the impact here. Uh, two photos are looking for that. Next one. Yes, I already completed. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think a lot of questions you have had. This is the pilot actually. OK. Yeah, you can switch your camera on if you want, Amit, but you can leave it off also. I know I have a quick question and then there's a couple of questions in the room. Um, but Amit, could you could you explain a little bit about um, where the idea came from in terms of using the recycled plastic and what problem it was responding to in Cox's Bazaar. Yeah. So basically, a lot of plastic items like the agency relief up to the abdomen, I mean refusee and uh, huge plastic are uh, throwing here and there, but there is no any kinds of mechanism to collect the plastic and reuse. But this is this plastic is one kind of environmental hazard that can be created like this and also like the global warming uh, this kind of thing. So, uh, so we 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 were thinking actually how we can reuse this kind of plastic because huge plastic that is harmful for the human as well as like like harmful for the environment. So that time, like we were thinking that how we can use and what kind of materials we can use as we are working in shelter sector. So if we can produce some shelter materials, that would be good item as an alternative and cost effective and which will be long lasting. This kind of thing. So that is uh, the main uh, idea we have came. Because they, there were some key areas in the shelters that people are living in in Cox's Bazaar where there yeah. were weaknesses of Time. Yeah. So yeah. So so, so so basically, time. like I, 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 regarding the shelter, actually, uh, we we are providing like a, a non uh, let's say permanent shelter. We are providing temporary shelter, including like the materials. So like this this is deteriorating day by day, and each and every year they require lot of muli and bamboo borak and tarpaulin this kind of thing. Huge demand is creating, but uh, for the bamboo, this is uh, he here in this part actually not only in this part in the around of the Bangladesh actually not enough uh, bamboo we are getting for so we, sector and including partner we are thinking about alternative thing how we can like uh, made some materials regarding the shelter and which uh, we don't want to demolishing all the bamboo because it, this is one of the greening part of things. Okay, super. Right, I'm going to maybe one, one question. question. Yeah, got a Compete. Question. <laughs> yeah. Is it a short question? Very short. <laughs> the cost of the products compared to cost on the market of the standard. Okay. It's, it's everything. It's okay, simple. so Amit. Um, What's the difference in terms of cost of these products compared to what people would be buying in the market um, yeah. anyway? So yeah, so basically like uh, we we are in just pilot phases and uh, like we don't uh, we didn't go to the like huge uh, let's say production, but we just uh, take the help and uh, we approach to the uh, stakeholder by getting help. So we just provide, let's say, the raw materials. We we brought actually 43 BGT, and uh, for the production and manufacture kinds of thing, obviously it. 
goes like uh, let's say now in this stage we didn't uh, identify because we take the help from the other partner actually so when we will go for the full scale and uh, like the full operation so that time we can identify like how much cost it is and uh, uh, either uh, like uh, uh, people will appreciate and uh, reasonable prices so but obviously okay. thinking that it, it, it uh, we will go in good shape actually Okay, brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Amit, for your time. Thank you very much, Amit. Yeah, thank you so much.